finishing up some deliveries for the boys. A couple toilets and a flash drive. Ah, and I'm out by my old neck of the woods uh, where I used to run um, when I was living down here downtown by um, on Consuelo. So I used to work my way to State Street and then up and then around over here and I was doing a pretty good I was doing pretty well with running um, I want to say right before Skyler was born I remember the month before like the month of June in 20, 2015 I ran I want to say like over 100 miles in that month and I thought that was just my goal at that point for that month was just to get get a bunch of running in because I knew I wasn't going to have as many opportunities once the baby came. Gosh, it seems like a long time ago, 2015. And she's going to be seven in two weeks, I think. Yeah, crazy. But yeah, just doing deliveries over here, and then I was on one of my old courses that I used to run, and I used to come on this street too. Shoot, I used to walk Skylar in her crib on this street uh, sometimes. Um, and that first summer was, uh, well, Melissa was off. We were both, Skylar was born in the summer, so we were both off and with her the whole summer. Um, until school started is when I like went back to work so it was like a good month and a half that I was we were just chilling hard with the baby every day it was the following summer in 2016 when um when it was just me and Skylar during the day and um and then Melissa was working she'd go to work so we would just chill hard like every day and that was like it was fun a little bit boring a little bit frustrating sometimes but just like those were those were the good old days waking up and like taking a jog um, and then coming back and just chilling out and then maybe going to grandma's maybe not and then, or walk into the, uh, to the, uh, to the mall over there, like, to, like, Five Points or Lacumbra over there, and just wandering around and, uh, going in stores and stuff, it was, it was, it was fun. Um, I think I was, I don't remember what I was doing that summer, but, couple open gyms but yeah just we had a lot of good memories at um, at the Consuelo place it was pretty it was pretty small now that I think about it though it was only a two bedroom um, it was like a duplex and uh, two bedroom one bath um, but it was we were there until like April of 2018, is that right? Yeah, so Skyler turned uh, like three at the new house, is that right? 16 was one, 17 was two, 18, yeah. Yeah, now we've been living at our home longer than we were at, uh, at Consuelo, well, at least when I was there. Um, it was cool. I kind of liked it because it was for me, it was like downtown. It was kind of off the beaten path, and so it kind of gave some sort of separation between my job and volleyball and uh, and everything else. Now I'm close to everything, which is better when you have a ton of kids. Uh, and the drop off and the pick it up and what. But anyways, I digress. Um, tired today, dude. I was, uh, 
literally fallen asleep at my desk uh, today. And one, because I didn't have anything really to keep me uh, occupied. I actually finished up everything that I've got right now. I was kind of looking around for stuff to do. Um, and I had, like, I went for a tiny run this morning and then picked up some stuff from Home Depot on the way to the office, but then got there and just, you know, had a few things to finish up, but I've been, uh, went back the last two nights, um, to work to catch up because I only went like half day. Uh, I went in at like one o'clock every day, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because, um, two of the days so we kept her home and then Monday we went to Oakley's new um, preschool to check that out and uh, you know just just kid stuff not getting in the way but just having kids having human beings on your watch and so um, yeah so I had to go make up some make up some hours and you know stay until you know midnight or 12.30 both nights and then going home and then chill it out for a little bit and not go to sleep until about two maybe and um and then you know like back up at like 5 30 or 6 and yeah again I was doing it again today so yeah I might have had about might have had about seven or eight hours the last two nights combined um I don't know if I can, if I should go back tonight and do it again. I mean, I probably should. I just don't know if I, if it's smart. I should probably sleep one of these nights. And with all my sleeping patterns being off, my eating patterns are off. And, uh, yeah, it's hard um, to, there's no... There's no real routine when you've got kids because there's things that are changing every day, really. I think that's kind of... I think it's kind of frustrating as because you watch so many... So many films about um, parenting and family life being rather easy in the essence of the, like, montage. <laughs> that makes it look so easy. You know, they throw in little bouts of frustration, too, but it's... it's uh, it just doesn't seem to be feeling like the same. So, yeah, it's like I, I ate some food at a, about, you know, lunchtime. And then I'm getting, like, crazy crashes. They're just, I'm just feeling zapped, dude. Like, so excited to eat. And then it just hits me. Uh, I'm like almost falling asleep, and I had like salad and some green bean fries. Maybe it was all the sauce, so all the like Thousand Island sauce and the batter on top of the fries or whatever. Um, but yeah, some I've also been thinking lately. It's like I I don't know if I like summer as much anymore. <laughs> now that I have kids, I think it's terrible things to say. Only I think really just because whoa, that's a portable house.